Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program must accept the integer n as the input, then print the pattern as shown in the example. So, the first line contains n integers and the second line contains n minus 1 integers so and so on so first line contains the n integers then the second line contains n minus 1 integers and so on. Now consider our test case that is the integer n is equal to 6. So we have 6 rows. So the first line contains the n integers. Then after that we have 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. Then the next number will be 7 plus n minus 1 that is 12. So initially the increment value will be 6. So after 7 we will have 7 plus n minus 1 that is 7 plus 6 minus 1 is 5. So 7 plus 5 is 12 and after that increment value will be 4. So 12 plus 4 is 16 then the increment value will become 3 16 plus 3 is 19 and 19 plus 2 is 21 so after that for the second row we'll have the again increment value will be 6 then 2 plus 6 is 8 then 8 plus 5 is 13 then the increment value will become 4 13 plus 4 is 17 and 17 plus 3 is 20 then we have got these elements then we'll move on to the third row so the again increment value will initially be 6 then we have 3 plus 6 9 then 9 plus 5 is 14 then the increment value will become 4 then 14 plus 4 is 18 so after that we'll move to the next row so initial value of the increment value is 6 then 4 plus 6 is 10 so 10 plus n minus 1 that is 10 minus 10 plus 5 is 15 then we'll move on to the next row so 5 plus 6 is 11 then at last we have 6 so this will be our final output now let us implement our program first we'll get the input integer n then we'll run a for loop for the six rows in range one comma n plus one. Then we'll have two variables called start val and the increment val. So the start val will have the rows that is a uh, CTR one comma n 
then we'll again run a for loop for CTR2 in range first we will have the n element then we'll have the n minus 1 elements so 1 comma n minus CTR plus 2 then we will print the star value so print star val then end the argument then after that we will increment the start value with the increment value then the we will decrement the increment val after that we'll print the new line so now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case we have got the correct output as we discussed in our logic video so let us pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output based on the given conditions our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video